I'm going to first start off with foundation for my makeup month box for the month of February. I've been testing a serum foundation from the brand Clarins Paris. This is their new skin illusion tint natural hydration. It's broad spectrum SPF 15 and it states it's a natural hydrating foundation. I did pick this foundation bundle out from my Octoly store and they sent me only the bottles that were for the deep shades. That's what I selected. So I have four shades here to show you. With the name of skin illusion here's where I feel well there's some sort of like illusion with this foundation because it's a buildable coverage but I couldn't find anywhere where it said oh it's medium or it's light or it's full so I think the illusion is well as you put it on we'll figure it out. So I thought that was kind of odd. I'm gonna quickly go over the actual swatches. Here's a close-up shot of it already on my face. And then I want to show you right now in real time, 116.5. This is the shade name Coffee. This has a neutral undertone. Next up is 117, which is Hazelnut. This one I feel has a cooler undertone to it. It actually has pink added in it or it's turned pink against my warm undertone. So that would indicate to me more of a cooler undertone added. The next one is 118, which is Sienna, which is my shade there. That is the warm undertone. And the last one is 118.5 Chocolate, which is another warm undertone. So those are the four. Again, the one, now this has been drying for about a good 10 minutes before I turn the camera on which just went right into the skin is Sienna so that one is my shade the primer that I actually have to share next this is from CoverGirl. Now this came in a box from CoverGirl, so they sent me their uh, Full Ambitious collection. And this is actually their Full, Full Ambition, Full Spectrum, excuse me, co by CoverGirl, their Matte Ambition, Mattifying Skin Primer and Sunscreen. So this is their Face Foundation Primer. It says SBF 20. This primer has a lotion type of feel to it. Even though it's mattifying, it's not too mattifying. Even though it's like a lotion texture it's not a thick lotion texture it's right everything seems to be right in the middle or at least that's how it's been showing up on my skin and then how it has actually been mattifying is it seems to just offer the t-zone for me like I noticed that there's just not any enlarged pores here which is where I have it and then everything else seems very hydrated I'm going to shake up the foundation just a little bit here and again it said in the video only a few drops is needed so I'm going to just show what I have been doing and I will be doing it with my fingers. So I'm just gonna put three drops here in my hands and I don't have a problem using my fingers. Two, three. But I think if you are somebody who is like, mm -mm, I'm not using my fingers, then a brush, a sippling brush, a sponge will do. So I just press it into my palms and just pat it into my skin. Now this is exactly how I would apply like a face and body foundation, a tinted moisturizer, a balm. Same thing, I don't think nothing has changed. And I mean, even without a primer, cause I feel you can wear this without a primer, this foundation it really melts into the skin and the heat of your hands I feel is also helping to release that pigment really getting it out when it's talking about this whole buildable coverage I feel that it certainly does not build into anything uh, full coverage okay now see how it's building up just by using my hands, again, the heat of my hands, one drop, it's already almost covering that hyperpigmentation. I don't feel anything on my skin. This is if nothing is on 
my skin. And to be honest, this is the first like serum foundation or very thin type of foundation that I have experimented with where it's giving me the claims that it's saying it's giving me. So, so far I've been impressed. I feel it covered where I want it to cover and it still is very skin-like. Okay. Now next up is a concealer. This has been the concealer that has been, I'm already going to say it right now, has been rocking my concealer world. This is L'Oreal's Infallible Full Wear, more than concealer. I wear the shade, I think it's Honey. Yes, 415 Honey. This is perfect for underneath the eyes, but it also works perfect to spot conceal. It just blends right into my skin. It covers, it builds, it will, I mean, it, it has covered freckles on me. I'm just like so impressed with this concealer. Like I said, I'm calling it, I'm already calling it. This is going to be the drugstore of the year unless something else comes out. This is the best drugstore I almost said foundation, concealer thus far for 2019. Love it. I did a little contour and brows are done. And next up is a bronzer. How many bronzers have I already done on this channel? It's, it's the year, 2019 is the year of the bronzer. This is one from Pure Cosmetics. It's their Bronzing Act Matte Bronzer in the shade Dark. This bronzer reminds me of the Laura Geller bronzer. I'm gonna use my big fluffy brush to apply it. And the Laura Geller one, the baked bronzer, that was my best of 2018, how it has all the different colors in it. And depending on the swirl, you'll have more of the darker chocolate in it. This is offering that same effect effect except that it has the, the, the splashes there it's giving you that that neutral brown tan as well mixed in with the darker brown and then it has a sun kiss like a kiss of red to it there it is right there and I have just been pressing it in and you know, swirl it in this bronzer is so soft. Like the powder is so soft and it's buildable. But I couldn't wait to share it with you because I just like, oh good, I have another option because I have all these bronzers lately I've been reviewing. There's so many different products, all these different brands. I always drop my brush, always. What was I saying? Oh, all these different brands, you know, all price various price points and it's just so fun to experiment definitely check this out if you're in Ulta and you see it I think you might like it time for blush I have two cream blushes both are from Too Faced they're just two different shades these are the peach my cheeks melting powder blush infused with peach and sweet fig cream this is peach berry I've already rubbed off the Too Faced symbol the smell of freshly cut apples. Oh, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And then I picked up Ginger Peach. Now this is a orange shade. This is a blush that builds up. I feel, I mean, just I can just keep going and going and going. And it just is still a very beautiful flush of color. I feel when I use my fingers, I get a stronger effect. So I'll do that right now. See the color right there. I mean, just perfect for my skin tone. So see, I can just kind of pat it on with powder blush and then without. See, just you, however you fancy. Your strength and your intensity. You are the maker of your destiny. I have two highlighters, one powder and one little jelly. So let's start off with the jelly first. This is from e.l.f. It's their jelly highlighter. This comes in three shades and the other two looked much too light for my taste. So I chose Dew. This is fun if you like that whole you know, wiggle jiggle, little, little jelly, little look going on. I don't know, I find that kind of cute. Look at that. I purposely did that because I wanted you to see that. Look at that. One swipe, one swipe, and then just start blending it out. So easy to blend and it dries down fast. So I tend to do it one at a time. I wouldn't swipe it and then go off and let that one sit. This is something that is here to party. And I, I gotta give a little bit of time to 
let it get adjusted before it wants a cocktail. I mean, look at that. Then I'm gonna further blend this out. I wanna kinda of get the warmth of my skin so that it further kinda of moves the product. This is a must have. And it, again, if you like an intense highlighter, and I think that was $6. It was very inexpensive, because you know it's so. The next highlighter is a powder. This is from Colored Rain. This is their Focal Point Glow Lighters, and this is in the shade Your Treat. Look at that color. So just a beautiful color, beautiful dark bronze to um, go well, not only with this dew, but also complement my skin tone. I have discovered Colored Rain, and I am here to stay. I'd recommend both products. I think they're just beautiful. Packs a punch. Even without having the liquid underneath, this highlighter, I feel, still is intense. And intense, oh, just, just smooth on the skin. I don't have a separate eyeshadow palette for February, but what I do have is this little palette here from Revlon, and this is their what is it called? Illuminance Cream Shadow in the shade Moonlit Jewels. The texture is see, just a nice cream color. Now these are the jewel tones or what they consider some jewel tones because they have some neutrals mixed in here. But I have worn the green already. I remember in a video I had put it on top of a powder green. Uh, green. And I like the opacity of that. Look at that. I mean this is just like almost like a one swipe color depending on which color you want. Let me swatch the blue and be done. Oh look at the blue. Just so beautiful. I'm just going to wear it as my lid color and just show you just how you can blend out the colors, kind of blend a few together and just pop in the light um, color in the inner corner and be done. Done with your look. I don't even have primer on my lid. I have noticed that even with primer, which is strange considering I have oily eyelids, but it's been staying in place. Look at how beautiful and opaque that is, I, no joke, I got some more CVS bucks, I won't get every one. And just for a little bit of color up there, like above the crease, I'm just gonna take a synthetic fluff brush, just go into the blue, super easy to just blend in the color where you want. Now this isn't to make it darker or smokier on the side. It's just to add a little bit of color. I feel it's been so subtle, but it still in a sense is, how do I put it? Defining the crease. That, that's what I was trying to say. I just put matte shadow on the lower lash, bottom lash mascara, black eyeliner in the waterline, call it a day. And the cream is not smearing, it has not budged. I want all the other comebacks from Revlon. I do have a new mascara for my top lashes. I've been using ColourPop's BFF Volumizing Mascara. I've noticed with this mascara is, I can definitely attest to the fact that it is volumizing. I don't see a lot of length to my lashes. Like it's not an all-in-one type of a mascara. However, the volume is there. With mascara, without. You know, it's affordable, it's ColourPop. It is not something that I'm going to repurchase though. So I'm gonna finish up the tube and I'm gonna be done because I feel that what I already get at the drugstore gives me the effect already that I'm looking for and sometimes I get some extra length. So at least I've tried it, but it's not something that I'm gonna purchase again. Very natural. And that's probably the easiest lipstick in the whole wide world to put on without very much mirror. This is the first product I've tried from Fourth Ray Beauty. This is the skincare company from the company that, uh, Seed Beauty, that makes ColourPop. This is their Mellow Milk Mist. Mm. <sighs> the smell. It has that soft skincare smell. That's exactly what it smells like. Mm. This is a great spray, I feel, to refresh throughout the day. This is the perfect 
perfect mist for that. It's a fine mist. I love the fact that it's a milk because I feel I'm getting that extra hydration. I have been, I, I love it. Last is a product that I've been using as a, I would say more as a makeup setting spray versus a refreshing spray. This is from Beauty Blender. It's the Glow All Night Flawless Face Kit. Now I picked up the entire kit because you get the redo. This is what the actual product is. It's a set and refresh spray. I got it right on my nose. This is a fine mist too. It's very quiet though. And I say quiet because I'm just kind of feeling like, are, are you doing anything? And some people I know from reviews have been like, oh, it's a little bit dewy or radiant. I don't really see that. Probably because my skin's already dewy enough as it is. But I do like it, again, as something to set the makeup after, so my last step. I feel it works fine for a makeup setting spray. It's not wowing me in that sense. But if it was in a taller bottle, it'd be something I'd be like, okay, I might consider, you know, picking this up by itself, not in a kit, but no, it's just, it's too small, I think. It's too small for the price. You know, when the hair is down, that means the video is almost over. So out of everything that I've tried, what stood out the most to me is the foundation. The foundation, this is what stood out the most to me. If you want something that is skin-like, buildable, you got it. And the second standout is the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. That concealer will cover any and everything. I would recommend just, just wear it and start you know, spreading it out a little bit. Use this foundation if you can blend it into your skin. That concealer speechless. I am so happy that I picked that up and I need to stop with that whole, oh, I'm not going to try this. I have enough. Mm -hmm. Especially L'Oreal because L'Oreal has been surprising me lately. So those are my top favorites out of everything I tried. So what do you like from what I've just shown? Let me know. Leave some comments. And do you like this very nice natural look? I like it perfect as we go into spring. So that's it, dear friends. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.